Hey guys, today I want to talk with you and just get real. There's some things I just need to get off my chest and I know that what I'm going to share with you is probably something you're going through too. You see, I'm discovering the things that are holding me back. I'm discovering the things that aren't bringing me satisfaction and fulfillment. And I'm willing to bet that if I'm not satisfied and fulfilled in my business and what I'm doing, you're probably not either. And there's a reason why you're not. And it's a deep-seated reason. And there's a reason why I'm not. And I've always known that it's there, but it's taken me 12 years to kind of get this out. I mean, I've been in seven businesses in 12 years. Some have been amazing. Some have failed hugely. And here's what I've learned. Every success I've had and every failure I've had have absolutely nothing to do with anything but me. I'm the one that was holding me back. I was the one that was keeping me from success, more success or any success at all. I was the one who was the driver behind all of the things that were happening that I hated. I was the one who was behind my, behind my lack of fulfillment and satisfaction. Now I'm going to guarantee that like me, you're telling yourself some stories. Some stories that are just lies and they're not true. And they come from so far in our past that we don't even know they're there. They're just buried under the surface. There are all kinds of stories we tell. And today I'm telling my story. I'm telling my story of why I know I don't have satisfaction and fulfillment. I'm telling my story of why I know there are things in my life that are today going to change. As a result of the story that I know I've told myself that's a lie. One I have believed for a long, long time. And that's that I'm not worthy. That, that everything I do will just be rejected. And that no one will appreciate or love me for what I am and who I am, not what I do. So I don't have to earn your love. And I don't have to earn your trust. And that's what I'm learning. And this comes out of a childhood where there was abandonment. There was fear. There was a constant for probably seven, eight years old till I went into the military out of high school that I just didn't feel very loved. I didn't feel very wanted. I didn't feel that, that I was contributing significantly to anything. And why did it matter? What value was there in any of this? And as I got into the military and I started deciding that, you know what, I'm going to overperform. And I did just that, and I excelled in my military experience, and I was good at it. And I got awards and accolades, and, and eventually got my commission in the Army, and did great things while I was enlisted in the Navy out of high school, and, and had a wonderful experience. But you know what drove me? What drove me at that time in my life was having to prove someone wrong, and I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I only have to go out and find satisfaction and fulfillment and make a difference in people's lives, and that's what this is all about for me. This is no longer about rejection. See, I've even, up until yesterday, when Nicole and I were sitting on the couch and we were talking and Nicole said she's been concerned a long time to tell me to my face that she feels that the reason why I'm struggling is because I'm still afraid of rejection. I have recently, in the last couple of years, had to let people go in my lives. People that have hurt me time and time again. And what I've learned in my own business and the story that I've told myself is, is that if I make myself vulnerable, people won't want anything to do with my business. People won't want to buy my product or service. People won't want to be associated with me. People won't want to do things. Why? Because I'm not worth it. What a lie. What a revelation. I sat in bed last night and I tossed and turned just thinking about that. And my self-worth is not wrapped up in all of this stuff. And, and what's promoted this is a week ago, this last Friday, I was in a mastermind. And one of the questions on there was about legacy. And what kind of legacy do you want to leave? If you were, uh, if you were, if you were at, well, not you, not me, I mean, but if it was my funeral service, what would people say? And what would your legacy be? And how would you want to script that? What would you want them to say? And my answer still remains the same today as I said in that meeting, but it was what people say about me is really not any of my business because I can't script it. But what I can do is go out and make a difference for people. 
And what I can do is be kind and caring and loving and help make a difference in other people's lives. And those are the things, those are the lies that I've told myself, I can't do those things because I'm not worthy, because I'll just be rejected. And maybe I just need to take my own advice and go back and remember it's really not important what other people think or say about me. It's just not any of my business. But what is my business is, is that I can do what I can do to make a difference for the people who will allow me to do that for them. And the rest of it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I get criticism. It doesn't matter what people say. It only matters that I'm finding satisfaction and fulfillment in life through those one or two people at a time that make it all worth it. What is the story you're telling yourself? What are the lies that you're telling yourself right now? What are the things that are keeping you from finding satisfaction, fulfillment, and enjoyment in your business and in your life? Are you in the right business? Maybe you are, maybe you're not. Maybe the business has nothing to do with your satisfaction, fulfillment, or enjoyment. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You're going to hear a lot more about me and my story as I try to relate more to you. Because I care. I care about you. And I care about what you're going through because I know that if I can break through, you can break through too. I know that if I can make it, you can make it. And I know that the Bible tells me that God did not give me a spirit of fear and timidity, but one of power and strength. And sometimes we spend too much time thinking about the negative. We spend too much time living in the past and letting the past dominate our, our present and our future. And it doesn't need to. The past only serves one purpose. And that purpose is to leave it there. It's to understand that maybe the things that happened to me had nothing to do with me. Maybe the things that people were going through that were contributing the pain in my life had nothing to do with me and everything to do with themselves. And that is so liberating. Because you begin to realize that this is not about me. And yet everything I've done in my business and all of my businesses to, to this point today has really at its core been about me. Pursuing pastoral ministry at one time was about me and my issues, not other people. But it looks so good to say that it's about everybody else or it's about the gospel or it's about Jesus or it's about all of these other things when it wasn't. It was about me, subconsciously, and my rejection and my fear and my worries. All my businesses of masquerading as is I'm trying to help people solve their problems so they can have great businesses when I'm not even solving my own. And I'm struggling with my own stuff internally up here in my head and I don't even know that it's happening until the people that are closest in my life force me to think about what is really going on in your heart. And how is what's going on in your heart affecting your mind? Where are the, where are the things in your own heart that are sour? Are there people that have wronged you? Are there people that have hurt you? Are there people in your past that have destroyed you? your own self-worth and your self-esteem, and you hide it so well. You hide it behind helping others. You hide it behind being strong. You hide behind success. You hide behind all the things that are not bringing you satisfaction and fulfillment. It can change today. Tell me, what do you think? Leave a, leave a comment below. If you're on YouTube or if you're on Facebook or if you're on Twitter, email me at dawn at unveilthewebcom Email me and tell me what you think. You do not have to live in the, in the pain of the past. It doesn't mean it all goes away. It's not going to, but it means if you understand the root of what's keeping you from more success, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. If Hugh Jackman, the greatest movie star in the world, one of them anyway, recently came out and talked about the story that he has struggled with in his own life that has kept him from satisfaction and fulfillment in his career, that acting made him a lot of money, but it didn't bring him a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction, a lot of fulfillment. We can have those things, but we have to overcome the hurts of the past. And we only do that by getting real with what they are. So when you're ready to do that, I'd love to hear your story. 
If you want some help with it, I'd love to help you. You know, as a military chaplain, I did this all day long. Again, see, it's always great being able to help other people, but there was nobody there helping me until the people in the last year that have come around me have said, Don, you better think about some things and you better think about them hard. You better get real with the things and the stories in your head that are moving you away from satisfaction and fulfillment in your life. Here I am. It took me a year to realize exactly what it was and to come to grips with it and admit it and just let my shoulders down. Okay, enough. I want to hear from you. Please reach out to me.